Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Beautiful day. Sun's going to be popping up real good today, charging everything full. Going to take you inside and show you the, the problem at hand and see if I can't figure out what happened. So far, I've had no luck understanding this low voltage disconnect issue with the battery. So I'm going to do my best to reconstruct the problem that I had starting yesterday morning on this uh, little system that I built a few weeks ago. I've been using it every single day in the past few weeks with absolutely zero issues. And I originally had this system tied up with this 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Red Odo. And it has been absolutely working perfectly until yesterday morning. It has been getting up to a complete full charge, going up to 14.2 volts, holding it there for a couple of hours before it kicks into float. Float is set at 13.5. And I will show you the, uh, the Victron app for the charge controller, how perfectly that has been working until yesterday morning. And then it stopped completely. So I'm just going to start by showing you just how beautifully this has been working for the past 10 days. And you can see right there on the app, been getting up to a full charge every single day, pretty much the same power usage every single day. No problems whatsoever. If we go down to the, the values, you can see that uh, the amount of watt hours I'm putting into that battery were basically the same every day. The battery voltage right up to 14.2 like it should be with only one exception. One day it spiked just a little bit to 14.45, but otherwise... 14.2 straight across. The voltage max was uh, nothing ever higher than 42 volts, well within the uh, parameters of that 75 volt charge controller. Everything looks absolutely perfect. Day in and day out. Great. And then yesterday morning. I'll show you what that looked like. And I'll just go over to here, right there. So it was early in the morning, barely any power coming in off those panels. And if you look right there, the minimum battery voltage, which every other day I've been using it, waking up, the battery was just sitting there at 13.2 something, doing just fine. Not really touching that battery at all for the nighttime use. But yesterday, 0 0.09 volts on that battery. And interestingly enough, as I was making my rounds, just checking the apps and making sure everything is humming along perfectly, as it always does, this was already had gone into absorption and float. And the charge controller was showing it up at 14.2 volts in float when it had not put in any power. So the charge controller was reading this battery as completely f full, had throttled down the power coming in off the panels down to just one or two watts, holding it at that float voltage or actually the the absorption mo uh, voltage of 14.2 but when i went to the bluetooth dongle app to read what was happening with the inverter the inverter showed low voltage and it would not work at all it didn't say what the voltage was it just had a low voltage which i'd never seen that so i was scratching my head. Why 
is the inverter reading low voltage, disconnect, and the charge controller was showing everything is full. So I quickly came and put the, the voltmeter on this. And I just tied it up right now, 8.42 volts. Now, yesterday when I first checked it, it was 8.38, but it has changed very little. And it's just been sitting there, a dead battery. How can that possibly be? I have no idea. I did everything that I normally do in the night. All I've been using this for in all of these tests, uh, this particular battery when it was tied in, was just watching a TV. That's it. A couple of lights, maybe charging a couple of small devices, but never exceeding a 100 watt draw on this battery in that entire 10 day span. And you could see that it was charging up full discharging the same amount my usage remained the same day in and day out for a solid 10 days before yesterday yeah the charge can or the inverter excuse me low voltage would not turn on could not turn the tv on charge controller said everything was heading towards the full charge just throttling the power down from the solar panels. So I came in, I disconnected this battery, put the voltmeter on it. Sure enough, low voltage disconnect. This one was already basically full, slid it right into operation, and it's working perfectly right now. It's also heading into a full charge today. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. And there, that's real time. It's letting in 209 watts. The voltage, 36.64, 5.7 amps. Battery voltage, 13.67. Well on its way to a full charge. Everything's working good. The inverter works. Charge controller is looking absolutely accurate. So what happened? Why did that Red Odo wake up in the morning at low voltage disconnect with no power running whatsoever. Well, the only power that I had, I did not shut the inverter off overnight because it just doesn't draw that much power. So I had left it on and it should have been at about 13, two, you know, but it was low voltage disconnect with the charge controller showing a full battery. Disconnect the battery, dead. What could have made that happen? I have no idea. I have, there's nothing in any of the logs that shows anything. There was no spike, there was no real drawdown. I mean, how could this, how could this have gone from, you know, <laughs> basically a full battery? I hadn't really drawn that much off of it. To dead in the morning. I have no idea. This doesn't draw but just a few watts when it's on. Did something trip this BMS and the BMS just shut down for some uh, unexplained reason? I cannot, I cannot think of a reason that would have happened. So now what I want to do is I want to see if I can wake this battery back up and see if it will accept a charge. Okay, I brought out all of my wall chargers that are for lithium iron phosphate uh, and tied them into this battery. It will not accept a charge. So right now I'm going to try to jump start it. Uh, this Ampere Time is pretty full battery. And this one uh, still reading 8.52 volts. I've got the multimeter tied on there. I've got these cables tied on to the battery that we're gonna jump start it with. Got the negative tied in, and now I'm just gonna see if I can't jump start that BMS back into action like it should, and we'll keep an eye on that voltmeter while I do that. And I'm just gonna to touch this there. 
up to 13.2. I just touched it and let go right back to 8.5 volts, not jump starting it. I've tried this several times. I'm now doing it on camera. This is exactly what it's done. I've tried it multiple times. I'll show you one more time where I, I'll get that both in focus. Touch. Goes up to 13.2 real quick, which is about the voltage of the ampere time. And you can see as soon as I release, it does not jump start that battery. So, have I got a complete BMS failure? So I'm not surprised that these charge controllers uh, couldn't charge up that battery. This, the voltage on the battery is too low for these to recognize. Uh, but if I jump started the BMS on this battery, I should be able to hook up a charger, but I cannot get it to budge off that eight and a half volts. And I still have no idea how that happened. Like I said, and I showed you the log on this running perfectly for the past couple of weeks, absolutely perfectly, until yesterday morning when I just happened to see only via uh, the inverter app or the uh, Bluetooth dongle app where I could monitor what's going on with the inverter and it kept showing a low voltage disconnect and yet the charge controller showed everything looking good. So, yeah, I'm baffled. I am absolutely baffled. 8.52 volts. Do it one more time. Just, I mean, I've done this so many times, but this is all I should have to do. Just touch this. There. Jump start it. Will not take. So this is the very first time I've ever encountered a lithium iron phosphate battery failing on me. Uh, I have no idea what has happened. Now the other thing, I briefly tied these two together and uh, this battery quickly showed the same voltage as this one. Uh, the moment I disconnected it, this reverted back to that 8.5 volts. But. I did just as an experiment for a few seconds while it was tied together, uh, hook up one of these chargers, uh, this one right here, and it started accepting a charge. And with the multimeter on the red Odo, it was showing that it was charging. And I thought, well, maybe just for a few seconds like that. So I'm hesitant just to try to recharge this in that manner. Uh, I'm going to wait to see what some of you guys say because I have never tried that and I don't believe that's the way it should be done. I don't believe that BMS ever did wake up. So uh, if, if that had woke up and I could see 10 volts or something, then the charge controller would start accepting or start charging and the battery would accept the charge. But right now I'm thinking I have a complete BMS failure for whatever reason. I, it's just a mystery. So I'll just finish this video off by showing you that today it, the entire system acted normal after I slid this time USB in uh, yesterday. Uh, it got up to a nice full charge. It did as well today. You can see it's only letting in 9 watts. We're in the absorption phase. Voltage looks good, 38, 39 volts. Uh, holding the battery voltage at 14.2, exactly as it's programmed. Uh, well on its way to just completely shutting those panels off and letting them settle down and, and let the battery settle into about 13.5 with no power coming in. Eight watts holding it at 14.2. Everything's acting absolutely perfect. The charge controller, obviously yellow light designating it is in the absorption phase. And then the last thing we'll take a look at will be the uh, Bluetooth dongle, which is right here, tied into the back of the inverter, and normal. It's reading 14.16 volts. It is actually on and inverting. AC output, 120 volts. So 
absolutely perfect. And it was this that gave me the first indication that there was a problem with the Red Dodo battery. This was reading uh, here on the app, actually not on this part of it, but right here where it says VE Smart or VE Direct Smart, there was a yellow flag and a low voltage disconnect sign coming on there. Uh, and it was not reading that high of a voltage either. It just said low voltage disconnect. No idea. And, and like I said, when I went to the uh, charge controller part of the app, you know, it was showing me that it was uh, in absorption, full battery, reading 14.2 volts but it was not because I quickly came in here, disassembled everything. And like I said, I put that multimeter on there and I had, you know, 8.3 volts. And now it has settled into that 8.5 and it will not budge off of that. I've tried jump starting it many, many times. So scratching my head on this one, I cannot think of one reason why this had happened unless it was just a complete BMS failure, and that's just a guess on my part at this point. Well, thanks for tuning in as always, guys, and I'm going to be reading all the comments from those of you that know a lot more than I do about uh, some of the possibilities of what happened and maybe some other things I can try. Uh, get that battery working again or if it just needs a proper burial i don't know <laughs> anxious to hear from you guys have a great weekend everybody aloha